Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a Canva presentation. It's pretty simple to do and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that, you can get started for free or simply use it for much easier login access. So let's get started right away. What you want to do is be on the dashboard first and foremost and once you are there, click on the presentations button and it will bring you here. Now we have a few different sections or templates that we can utilize. For this one, I'm just going to go with the presentation 16 by 9 or if you want to utilize different dimensions, you can do that but I'm just going to go with this presentation here. All right, so one of the best things about creating an actual presentation in Canva is the fact that they come with so many templates. As you can see here, there's going to be plenty that you can choose from, but to make your life even better, what I'd recommend is just typing in something that you want to create your presentation about. Yes, you can do portfolio ones, social media ones, digital marketing. In fact, I'm going to type in digital marketing and let's see what comes up. So the reason why I like templates so much is because once you find one that you like, it's very easy to add in your own pictures and just change around the text. You're pretty much using the template and then replacing it and making it yours, which is a good thing. So let's say we have this marketing presentation one. There's 28 slides here. Now what you can do is go through and just apply all 28 if needed, or you can go through and pick and choose the specific ones that you want. For example, like you have this one right here, but I'm just going to do undo just to kind of show you how that works. And that's an example of one. Okay, so that would be a presentation that way. Let's say we were just typing in a portfolio where you have maybe case studies you want to showcase. Maybe it's testimonials. Maybe it's just images, graphics, whatever it's going to be. It doesn't have to be for a business. It could be something else. Let me type in portfolio because at the end of the day, there's a lot of reasons why a business would want to create a portfolio after all and non-businesses as well. So this is a minimalistic one, which I happen to like. Not a whole lot to edit and that's a really great thing. I might use that one for this example. Let's say we want to just do another one. Once again, what you can do here is probably just change around this main yellowy color if you wanted it to match your theme or your brand and there's going to be even more. But I really like the minimalistic one. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do apply all 10 pages. If you'll notice, just about immediately, they are going to appear all down here. Okay, so let's kind of go through and showcase what it looks like. So we have our first one. We have our table of contents. Now, keep in mind, this is something that you're going to definitely have to edit. Obviously, it just has kind of gibberish here, but keep in mind, do this last because if you delete some slides, you do this and then you delete more, it's going to mess them up, right? So let's go to three. We have about us. We have mission. Okay, we have vision, history our brand, portfolio, and I think that's a continuation of portfolio and contact us. So this is pretty straightforward. This can be say for a brand, this could be for a business, this could be just for maybe a, you know, like an artist or a jeweler, someone who wants to present anything that they've done. Let's say this is gonna be for my marketing island brand. For a lot of the images, I'm just gonna use my islands as an example, given the fact that's related to my actual uh, YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go to my uploads here. And I have a gazillion pictures of islands. Who would have ever guessed? What I'm going to do is drag it in here. Perfect. And let's just say marketing island. And I want to make this bigger so it's on one line. I'm going to go like this. And we're going to stretch it out. Actually, let's go all the way to the end. And that way we can center it. Perfect. So it's going to be right in the middle. So company presentation, sure. Like you can always change that around if needed. I'm gonna try not to change too much text around because I'm pretty sure you're gonna obviously know how to do that yourself. Like I said, if you wanna keep a table of contents, that's good. I recommend doing that last, okay? So about us, once again, let's just say we have this one right here. This looks good. And this would be about the brand, okay? That's all I'm gonna write there. You know, you don't need to know too much about me. I don't wanna bore you with that, okay? Let's go to the next one, our mission. Once again, we're simply replacing this text with what the mission's going to be. Let's move on to the next one. Same thing is going to be with the vision. Okay, then we have some history. Let's add that there. Let's say this was like 2012 started, right? You know, and so on and so forth, and then continuing on from there. Okay, and then once again, we have more portfolio shots. Just going to add some more islands here. And double-clicking here to change what this would be. And we're pretty much just going to be done. I'm just going to add a couple more pictures here. So we can put this here. Sure, we got this one here. And last but not least, let's go with this changing around our email, right? You know, james at marketingisle.com, website, phone number. You get the idea. All right, so that's going to be the contents of it. Like I said, uh, I wish I could be a little bit more like descriptive, but it's mostly about adding, you know, what's going to be yours, replacing what's yours. And once again, I'd probably just delete this. I don't think that you have to really have this. 
I'm gonna put delete page here. Now here's something really cool that you can do. I really love the minimalistic aspect of this. I think it looks great in my opinion, but you could always do something different. Now what we wanna do here, if you'll notice, if we go right in between any slide, there's always the ability to add a page. So if you wanted something say between here and there, maybe we deleted that table of contents a while back and we just wanted to add it in, that's where it would go. However, even better, we can add transitions here by going right here. So let's click on this one. And what we can do is hover over these and it's just gonna give you an example of what it looks like when it changes over. So we have slide, I think slide looks pretty good. We have circle wipe, we have color wipe, line wipe, match and move. Flow looks pretty nice, I think that's probably the best one. We have stack and we have chop. Okay, so let's go with flow, go with flow, let's go with the flow. We can make the duration a little bit shorter or longer. So if we wanna make it quicker, we can do one second and let's see what it looks like. I think that's fine. We also have the direction too, in case you want it going that way. But I like left and I, I think that works well. We can also do apply between all pages or just this one. I think this one looks fantastic. So let's do that. Okay, now if you'll notice transition applied to all pages, great. So here's something else to keep in mind. If you did wanna add notes, this is gonna be where they can be. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because when you go to present it, you can choose to present it with your notes on the side, which I will show you how to do uh, momentarily. Now there is also gonna be the duration section. If you ever wanted to make any of these any longer, you click on duration like I did, and here you can just drag it to make it much longer, okay? That's gonna be helpful, say, if you're creating a video out of this, say you're gonna be saving it as a video file, that's gonna be very helpful in that scenario. If you are gonna be presenting this as a presentation, what you can do is obviously just put it up on the screen and then you can choose when you go to the next slide. So that's really gonna be up to you, okay? There's a timer here if needed, but you know, should you wanna use that? That's like the, the basics of it, but I do wanna show you when it comes to the presentation aspect because that's pretty important. So let's click on present here. So as you see, Present full screen at your own pace. That's what I would recommend. This is where the duration doesn't matter because once you load it up, you can just click on your mouse and it will go to the next slide whenever you choose to, okay? Next is gonna be presenter view. This is the one I talked about where if you create notes, you can utilize those with your slides, which is can be helpful, right? We also have present and record. We can record yourself as you present, which is up to you. And of course we have autoplay, set speed to automatically play. Okay, so let's go here. I'm gonna go with the present full screen at your own pace. Let's click on present. And here we are. So what we can do is click on the screen to get it moving. We can also use the key. You can't see it right now, but I'm using left and right. But I'll just use this. I'm gonna click right here. Okay, about us, about the brand. You'll notice we have that specific transition going in through each. Okay, our vision, our history, which would obviously be edited a little bit better. I didn't wanna go through and just do all of this because that doesn't matter to you. It's more important about you know your own brand, your own presentation, whether you're doing a portfolio or not, and then clicking off. And last but not least, if you did ever wanna save this, you can do that by going to share. And then from there, you can simply click on download. Okay, so for this, depending on how you wanted to actually present it, PDF would be probably fine. It says best for documents, you can do that. Like MP3, MP4 video is gonna be good. Remember where we changed around our duration, that's where it's gonna extend or shorten depending on how you did that. So you can utilize that if needed, but PDF is probably gonna be good. This will give you each of your slides that you can just simply use if you wanted to present somewhere else where you have your first PDF, then you move on to your next one, your next one, or maybe you just wanna make like an ebook out of it too, you can do that as well. And then once you are done, you would click on that and simply click on download and also to probably good thing to do flatten PDF as it showcases here flattening your PDF converts content of the design into a single image per page so it may increase the file size but that's probably what you want if you just want that one specific slide on each page I think that would work best for you so so if you did want that simply check off flatten PDF and then click on download but that's going to be this tutorial about how to create a Canva presentation. Like I said, pretty simple and basic overall. I like doing these types of tutorials that showcase how you can use templates. I like using templates because the work that you're going to have to do is going to be extremely minimized and that's always a good thing. You know, choose a template that you like, add in your images, your graphics, your content, add some transitions and you're going to be good to give that presentation. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. If I don't, someone else can always chime in, which is always a good thing. I have been getting so many more comments lately so it's hard to keep up with all of them but nevertheless my name is James thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it